What's up C squad I am back here with another construction vlog from this vlog I am going to discuss about the correct way of plastering a wall with cement mixture to achieve a smoother surface here we are going to apply a plaster onto the interior surface of the wall things that we are going to use are these here we are also using a plumb bob a plumb bob is a weight uh, usually with a pointer tip on the bottom it is uh, suspended from a string and used as a vertical reference line or plumb line with plumb bob uh, we can check the verticality of the wall normally a cement plaster is a mixture of uh, sand cement and water which is uh, applied to masonry interiors and exteriors to achieve a smooth finish but uh, here we are also using uh, fine aggregates in the mixture this is a plumb bob guys uh, let's make the cement mixture that we are going to use when plastering the wall i already uploaded the complete vlog about the way of uh, mixing the cement mixture i will also add a link to that video in the description if you are curious about the word plaster guys uh, plaster is a building material used for a uh, protective or decorative coating of walls ceilings uh, and for moldings and uh, casting uh, decorative elements we also need to prepare the wall surface uh, for plastering keep all the joints uh, or keep all the mortar joints of the wall rough uh, so it will give a good bonding to whole plaster then uh, clean all uh, the joints and surfaces of the wall uh, with a wire brush guys the wall should be free from uh, oil dust dirt etc then uh, you need to wash the uh, mortar joints and entire wall to be plastered uh, as you seeing in this video after that uh, you can start plastering the wall with uh, cement mixture when applying plaster first take some cement mixture onto the trowel and scrape the plaster onto the wall you can use the techniques uh, that you seeing in this video when applying the plaster you need to use a wooden concrete float and a brick trowel when applying the plaster oh uh, you also can uh, fix dots on the wall uh, before i start applying plaster Uh, we put dots in order to get a uh, uniform thickness uh, throughout the wall surface a dot means a patch of plaster of size uh, 15 into 15 mm and uh, having thickness of uh, 10 mm dots can be fixed on uh, uh, first horizontally and then vertically at a distance of about 2 uh, meters uh, covering the entire wall surface then uh, check their verticality of uh, dots one over the other by means of a plumb bob after fixing dots uh, vertical strips of plaster also known as screed uh, can be applied in between the dots then uh, you can start applying plaster uh, throughout the screed uh, keeping a even thickness always follow the hand movements that you seeing in this video because because it will make the work more easy 
when plastering the wall uh, work from uh, top to bottom and from left to right uh, you need to uh, evenly uh, spread the mortar across the wall using uh, mortar, uh, mortar joint lines on the wall as a guide here we are going uh, applying plaster from uh, bottom to top you can change it uh, according to your desire This is the wall after applying the first coat. After applying the first coat, uh, and uh, when plaster is tough enough, to tough, uh, tough dry, uh, you can screed the wall. Do this by dragging the straight edge along the wall. You can using the plumber uh, check the verticality of the wall also. The screening takes uh, any excess plaster off the wall to achieve it a nice flat finish. You start at one side of the wall and work your way across, uh, keeping the straight edge level. Then work, then work your way back across the wall. By keeping a spirit level uh, uh, or a plumb up vertically against the wall, uh, check whether the plaster is flat and leveled. If there is uh, too much plaster and wall is not flat, uh, rub the spirit level or plumb up into the plaster until it is leveled. Repeat this uh, at different places of the wall, uh, especially at two ends. Then use the straight edge to screed the uh, wall back to the lines that you have created with a spirit level. After doing this, uh, use a spirit level to a spirit level or plumb up uh, to check the uh, check that is uh, level. This is how you are going to use the straight edge. Uh, After first coat, uh, there might be areas uh, where the plaster is uneven or patchy. Then uh, with the travel, uh, you can apply plaster where it is needed. After patching the wall, uh, run the straight edge across it uh, to make it level. And this should be easier because the base layer of the plaster will be drier. Then uh, run side of the travel along the edges of the wall to remove excess cement mixture and uh, also with the travel uh, scrape and clean up uh, any plaster that was fallen on the floor. In case of brick masonry uh, the thickness of the first coat plaster is generally uh, 12 mm and uh, in case of uh, concrete masonry uh, this thickness varies from uh, 9 to 15 mm. Undercoat plasters are generally applying uh, keeping uh, 11 mm uh, as the th thickness. If you are using uh, cement and sand only, the ratio of first coat plaster varies from 1 is to 3 to 1 is to 6. If you are applying a second coat, uh, the thickness of the screed, uh, thickness of the second coat uh, or finishing coat may be uh, maybe vary between uh, 2 to 3 mm. Second coat is applied when you need uh, more thickness and uh, very fine smoothier finish. Apply apply the finishing coat with a uh, wooden concrete float and a towel uh, throughout the surface. Before you smooth in the surface with the wooden float, uh, always sprinkle some water to the surface uh, with a masonry brush.
after that uh, you can smooth the surface with a wooden float and using a steel trowel or a uh, back side of the big trowel uh, to give a plaster a uh, finishing touch you can smooth the wall uh, as you seeing in this video always try to complete the work in one operation uh, to eliminate uh, joining marks Also, uh, when plastering the wall, uh, don't forget to apply plaster onto the uh, horizontal and vertical beams. Always uh, cover the patches on the wall uh, as you are smoothing the surface. You can use the big travel uh, as you can see uh, seeing in this video. After completing the plaster uh, past plastering work, uh, at least uh, keep it for uh, seven days in order to develop strength and hardness after that uh, your wall is ready for ice cream coating I will also add a separate video about the techniques uh, that you need to use uh, with uh, the finishing coat. This is how we are applying a plaster at the uh, edges of the wall. guys uh, that's it for the today's vlog if you are new here my name is c and you guys are the c squad if you want to join the family uh, don't forget to click on the subscribe button down below I hope that you all enjoy the video don't forget to click on the bell icon to get uh, daily notifications about my video uploads this is the wall uh, after you apply in the past guys uh, keep subscribing keep commenting and keep liking the videos have a nice day and see you soon peace